What's up guys, Bear McMahon here. I got an interesting review for you today. It's my own personal uh, BB gun. It is called the Umarex Steel Force. And I'm telling you, this gun has been so much fun. I mean, just because of it's uh, got your semi-automatic, it's got your six round burst, which I really enjoy. You know, if something's fighting in the woods, you hear some raccoons out there and they're carrying on. Just get this bad boy out, fire some rounds into the woods, quiet some right down. Just, shh, just shh. I'm trying to sleep. Just let me, let me sleep, do my thing. Just, shh. all right. So, anyways, here it is. This is it right here. Love this gun. This is like my go-to gun whenever I see something that uh, I gotta shoot at. Like if there's a coyote running around in the backyard and you know and I need to get rid of them I don't shoot at them with it I shoot around them and scare the crap out of them so they will actually go away and not come back so as you can see if you've seen an Umrex Steel Force before you know that I've done some things to this okay so first off what I did was I painted it that's the obvious it comes in black um, the ones you see are gonna look lackluster compared to mine because you can add things. See, they have all these Picatinny rails, top, sides, you know, bottom. You can put all kinds of things on there, right? They also have these iron sights that come with it. They flip up, front and back. Ugh, this one's a little stiff. I never really use them. See, they flip up, you know. That's good just in case your red dot sight runs out of batteries or something like that. Um. Yeah, so this is how you load the BBs in. It holds around 200 rounds. So you load the BBs in the top. It's like this. You can see I have some in there. It's uh, actually, they, I don't have any in the chamber. So don't need to worry if I fire any, which I am going to shoot. I'm going to pull the trigger, but it's not going to fire any projectiles because I'm inside and I don't really want to get hit by a bunch of ricochets. So anyways, this is where you load up your BBs in there, in that little section right there. And then you just shut it. And uh, all your BBs are loaded up, like I said, about 200 rounds. Uh, takes two CO2 cartridges. I got one in my pocket right here. This is what I use. Takes two CO2 cartridges in the clip. Right, you're thinking, oh, where's the CO2 go? It goes in here. You know, pop this sucker out. Right, as you can see, CO2 there. The two go inside here. You take this little backing off right here. You can see like the little clips there take the backing off oh yeah there they are right there comes with a little tool which i accidentally left inside because when you when you shake it to change these co2 cartridges they kind of fall out but i already did it make sure you put oil on your co2 cartridges too keeps a good seal so you want to put this sucker back up in here like that make sure it's good and in there because you don't want to uh lose any co2 because trust me with this gun with a six round burst 200 rounds inside yeah you go through it pretty quick i mean i don't know how much co2 you can actually um get like how many rounds you can actually fire i think it's around 400 rounds out of a co2 cartridge so i mean like there's two of them in here so i don't know 800 rounds maybe if that but let me tell you it goes quick when you're pulling on the trigger it goes fast and on top of that it slows down because the co2 does get cold makes everything else cold inside slows the gun down a little bit so when you're firing those six round bursts and you're just giving her i mean it, it starts losing a little bit of velocity just a little bit so that in a nutshell is the umrex steel force uh oh and this also comes with it it's an adjustable stock you know in case you got a little shorty people that want to use it they don't have a big arm span or as big as arm span as i do i like to keep it right about there you know keep it snug keep it tight in there you know so anyways some add-ons that i put onto this obviously as you can see is i put a, a tosco red dot sight on there it looks kind of cool it's got kind of that ready mirrored hue to it i thought it made the gun look pretty beefy pretty uh pretty bad butt it has 11 settings for the dot to the dot brightness so i mean depending on what you're doing or where you're going and 
You know, if it's night time out, all right, fine. Very dim dot, don't need a big dot. It's very, very accurate too. Like this gun's super accurate. So I don't know if you can see, well, you can't really see the dot. Oh yeah, there you go. See the dot in there? That's on 11, that's, that's the brightest as you can make it go. You can see it jiggling around in there, dot, yeah. Fully functional red dot sight, comes in handy sometimes, but most of the time you can, you can see where the rounds are going. So you don't really need to like be like a sniper and be like, yeah, I got a perfect aim. No, you can, once you fire, you can adjust and you're more than likely, if, unless your target's really far away, you're gonna hit it. You're definitely gonna hit it. I mean, this, and spread. I mean, you can do a, you can do a decent spread and scare the crap out of anything you want to scare, right? So, red dot, Tosco sight, looks kind of cool. Also, I put on this foregrip. Uh, this foregrip is made by MOE. I'm pretty sure I got this bad boy at a, I think it was an airsoft gun store in Ottawa. Um, oh, yeah, this red dot sight, well, let's, we'll go through pricing after. I'll tell you how much ooh, all this costs. So, this I got from a store up in Ottawa. I um, mean, had to have it. Um, made my wife stop at it so I could so I could get it. Um, and uh, it's it's not like it just looks cool. It's not functional. It does, this gun has no kick whatsoever. It's not going to affect your if you hold it here. It's not going to affect your your downrange accuracy at all. I just put it on there because it looks kind of neat, right? It's just an add-on to the gun. It looks really cool. Now this flashlight on the side is not actually a tactical flashlight. I got this flashlight for Christmas and it is a um, police, um, like a police tack light that I got. And I had this uh, from an, an old gun, an iron sight from an old gun. So what I did was I actually JB welded the flashlight onto the iron sight and I attached it to this gun and uh, it's in a good spot. My thumb hits it easy when I'm holding the the uh, foregrip and it's fully functional looks good it's very bright good for at night time when you hear a funny noise and you're creeping corners and uh, you want to uh, make sure that you're gonna hit you know you, you want to see before you shoot and this is good you never want to shoot at anything that you can't see because you don't know who it, is. it could be could be a person you know it could be could be a little kid yeah, you don't know. Could be a little cute bunny. You don't want to shoot a cute bunny, do you? Nobody wants to shoot a cute little bunny. Nobody wants to do it. Unless you like eating bunny meat. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't think my kids would like it if, if I killed a bunny and said, Yeah, we're eating this for dinner. No, I don't think I like it. So, light's always important. That's always a good thing to have, right? A light. You don't want to be messing around in the dark with a light. Unless you're, you're trying to be stealthy. Unless you're trying to be stealthy. Then you don't want to light. Because that'll just give you away, right? Umrex Steel Force. Good gun, awesome fun. So let's do a little price breakdown. So for the gun itself, I was 200 bucks, right? $200 for the gun, $50 for the Tosco red dot sight, which I picked up a Canadian tire eons ago. I don't even remember. I probably, this this red dot sight is probably at least, well, let's see, I'm guessing eight, nine years old and still works awesome. Never had an issue with it. Changes the battery in it, takes your watch battery. Change the battery in it, good to go. Sometimes I forget it on, I put it in the case, forget that it's on and pick it up and I'm like, oh no, it's set for 11 and it's dead, right? Flashlight, not really sure uh, how much I could price this whole unit for because like I said, I made it myself. I don't know how much JB Weld is, I don't know how much an iron sight would be and I don't know how much this flashlight is. Pretty sure you could pick up these flashlights at Walmart uh, for pretty cheap. I imagine these ones might run like 12, 13 bucks around there. And this uh, handle here, this foregrip, um, I think I was 30 bucks for this, I think, back in the day. I think it was 30 bucks. So, I mean, all in all, for a pretty decent setup, not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. And you can't put a price on the fun that this thing gives you because it gives you some pretty wicked fun like yeah, I can't even describe it there's another one that I want to get is a mp40 it's fully auto and uh, it's all steel it's a World War II replica gun I'd like to get my hands on that and do a review on that one here and uh, yeah this gun's a lot of fun I love this gun now I'll take a couple of pot shots in here just so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like 
it, like I said, there's nothing in the chamber. If you look here, this is the chamber. You slide it up. You shake the gun, which I'm not going to do because of the fact that I don't want any rounds in this because I don't want these rounds popping around my, my set here, my YouTube set. So uh, safety is always paramount when you're using guns or knives or any kind of weapon. Right? Safety first. Above all, safety, safety, safety. See, this is where the BBs load into. You shake the gun. They go into this little reservoir right here. Not sure how many rounds you can get in here, but I just shake it till it's full. And then this little slider, you slide back, puts pressure on the BBs, feeds them into the barrel. CO2 does its thing, fires out. This here, this is your safety switch, right? Safety first. Don't go anywhere near the trigger when you're doing this unless you intend to fire it. So that's a single shot burst right there. And then for pew pew, ooh ooh, tons of fun, you want six round burst, which is all the way at the other end. As you can see, I left the red dot there to show that that's the dangerous. That's, that's danger, right? So let's put it on safe for now, right? And um, it has a pull here. So when you load up your BBs and you're ready to fire your your rounds, I thought this slide's kind of cool because it gives it kind of like that real gun effect. So you pull the slide back like this and oh yeah, I love that. It just makes you feel manly when you yeah, that's right, ready to rock. So anyways, I'm gonna fire one one round here. Okay, yeah, there was <laughs> there was a BB in there. <laughs> you can probably hear it dinging around here. That's why I film these <laughs> these when uh, nobody else is around. So, pretty sure there was only one one round in there. Let's fire another one just to see. Yeah, that's empty. Nothing in that. That's good. Probably when I slid that thing forward to show you uh, what <laughs> how you load it, one dropped in. But that's okay. But here. So that's how it goes. Like that. Oh, somebody's just jamming up. Sometimes you gotta pull this back. I haven't had any problems with jamming or misfire or anything like that until like today. Maybe it's the rain outside or something like that. But usually this gun has been pretty reliable. It would start acting up when I'm doing a video on it though, right? Just to make me look silly. So every time I pull the trigger, you know, it's it's jamming up a little bit. I gotta see what's going on there. This is a six round burst. And uh, this sounds pretty neat. I like doing this. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty cool, eh? You hear that? And uh, so, <laughs> imagine being an animal, a raccoon or something, you're wandering around over by the shed, mind your own business, maybe getting in some garbage, and you're just minding your own business, the next thing you hear is, and then you, hear things rattling around around you you're you're gonna leave pretty quick you're gonna leave pretty dang quick so that's my umarex steel force my personal one that i've made for me as you can see i put a pretty sick paint job on it which i did not put a uh, clear coat finish on it sometimes i put a clear coat finish on it uh to protect the paint but this one i thought i wanted to make it look like it was getting some use and some wear as you can see around the handles and where you put your finger and everything, it's it's wearing a little bit up here. You know, I wanted to give it that that uh, getting good use look to it. So, anyways, guys, this is my Umrex Steel Force uh, BB gun, six round burst. Have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't tell anybody about my one in the chamber. Uh, it could be embarrassing, and uh, so. Umarex Steel Force, recommend this gun, 200 bucks, all the add-ons, whatever, it's not so bad. So, a lot of fun, a lot of fun guys, I love this thing. So, I'm Bear McMahon, that's my review on the Umarex Steel Force. I will see you guys later, um, not sure when my next video is going to be, I'm kind of going on a, a roll here of just doing videos of uh, basically whatever I want to do, this is my first gun review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was uh, informative. Safety first when playing with guns. That one had one in the round. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from my mistakes. Don't mess around. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. 
15 minute video. Hope you have patience for it. Bear McMahon, like, subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Have fun.